Hey, what's up? This is Anthony, the managing broker of Lead Group Real Estate and the head of the Millennial Project coming at you with today's agent hack. Okay, I talked about having confidence when you're talking to your client, when you're talking to them, when you're doing your buyer's consultation, your seller's consultation. And the only way to do that, whether you're a new agent or an old agent, is for you to get in the system and practice. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to look up and I want you to know the numbers. If you don't know your numbers, if I come up to you and you can't tell me how many houses there are for sale in your market between 300 and 400,000 and what their average days on market in, boom, you lose, next. If you can't tell me how many between 400 and 500, eh, you're gone, all right? You're not instilling confidence. When I get on the phone with an online lead and you know I'm talking to them and they say, yeah, we're looking for a house, 375, four burns. I was like, yeah, we got 23 on market right now, unless someone off, uh, many are going within one or two days and the average days on market or whatever, right? However I say it, I know it, boom, off the top of my head because you know what? I look in the matrix every morning, I pull up the ones between those numbers so I know when I take leads that day. Also, when I have my buyer's consultation, I have those numbers in front of me because the more informative you are, right, and the more you can tell people, the more they're gonna think you're an expert and you have that confidence. Instead of saying, um, well I think and uh, you know what, that's why real estate agents get a bad rap, that's why they think we're sleazy, that's why they wanna cut your commissions, because you're not being a professional. Be a professional and know your numbers. How hard is it to pull up your numbers every day for five to 10 minutes and learn what's on the market, okay? Two, I want you to actually practice with somebody. I call it blocking and tackling. So for the next 60 days, 90 days, uh, I forget what it was, we're doing 15 to 20 minutes of blocking and tackling a role play every day. They gotta get on each other's calendar. I monitor their calendars so I can see whether it's on there. So they gotta go with the teammate and they gotta get on their role play. So what the common objections are, what they're getting most on the phone right now, what they're seeing in buyer consultations, seller consultations, they're gonna practice it. They're gonna do it over and over and over and over and over again. You know the old saying goes, I'm not afraid of the men who knows 10,000 kicks. I'm afraid of the man that has practiced one kick 10,000 times. So, for instance, I wasn't good, okay, at every single script when I started out. In fact, I fucking sucked. You probably suck too. And I could listen to your phone conversations and you would hate me because I would tell you how much you sucked, okay? But that doesn't matter. What I did is when I was really successful my first year, I got good at expires. I mean, I was the expired king. I would take an expired, I would sell it, boom. And I got great on the phone, in person. I was the expired man. Now I'm still awesome on expires. I'm awesome on Fizbos. I'm awesome in pr pretty much damn everything in life, right? But anyway, no, don't go on. You don't have to tell me that. But really, no. Uh, get good at one thing, all right? Don't try to master it all. Just like with listing techniques and stuff like that, you gotta get good at one thing. Take stuff off your plate, all right? Don't try to do everything. Find your niche and be good at that, okay? With buyers, be good at buyers at 350 to 400. Three to three fifty, because guess what? The the person that sells a house at three to three fifty, someone might tell you, oh, you could sell a million dollar home, two million dollar. No, nope, no, you can't, because you don't know the nuances, you don't know the people, you don't know what they think, you don't know where they eat, you don't know where they crap, you don't know anything about them, but you do about these people. So get damn good at that, okay? Whatever you're gonna do, whether it's million dollar buyers, half million dollar buyers, two hundred fifty thousand dollar buyers, get good at it and be a professional. Okay, that's the only way you're gonna do it. And professionals, whether you're playing football, baseball, hockey, they practice every day. You're not practicing 15 to 20 minutes on your scripts every day. How do I know as a broker and as a team leader that you're gonna take care of that $50 lead that I sent you and be able to convert it? You're not, so why would I give you any business? If you're a solo agent out there, right? How are you gonna get your business and how are you gonna cultivate that if people don't find you a professional? So get out there, be a professional, Run through those every day. Those are two easy things you can do, all right? Live with passion, live with love.